Hello and a happy new month. We believe you're in good health and that we are super happy you have been able to see the last month of the year. Now, this being the last month of the year and also the festive season, a lot of people tend to get into a lot of financial mistakes because of the uh, hula balu associated with this season. So how can you avoid getting into financial mistakes because of the festive season and what can you do so that you can enjoy we can all agree we want to enjoy you want to be with our friends and family we want to live life but if you are not um, intentional about it you might find yourself getting into financial mistakes that might cost you months or years to get out of so what well, um the first thing you need to do to be able to enjoy this festive season and actually be intentional about it is number one have a plan we have all heard about planning and we've all had people telling us if you don't plan your uh, failure to plan is planning to fail so have a plan how do you want to spend your your festive season where do you want to go who do you want to be with such small things that people think it's small they really count much because when you plan you're able to know this is the much that will cost me to go to this place this is what i'm expecting this is what i need to do then number two have a budget we cannot re-emphasize on how a budget is important when it comes to managing your finances. So just because it's a festive season, you're getting money from, uh, if you have a savings group, if you have, uh, you're gifting people, you're getting maybe a bonus, doesn't mean that you don't budget. So the, it's important to create a budget, have your budget and say, okay, this festive season, yes, I'm going to pay myself, but this is the much I can get to. Or yes, I'm going to gift people, but this is the much I can spend on buying gifts. Or I'm going to go for an experience and this is the much I'm going to spend. So create a budget. And as we always say, a budget is not your enemy. It's actually a guide to help you take control of your money. Remember, money is a tool. It can help you or hurt you. And a budget helps you use money wisely. And then number three do what you can afford do not put yourself into financial pressure just because you want to impress people you want to impress friends you want to impress family or you want to impress social media followers just do what you can afford if you cannot afford something at this time it's okay you can do it at a later time when you are financially comfortable or financially able and lastly you need to um take advantage of uh, the ongoing deals so it's good to research for example if you're planning to take a vacation or you're planning to buy gifts for people this is the time you need to do gift window shopping look out what shops are having sale offers where you can get certain items at a discounted price you don't have to always pay the full price when then when there are some places that you can get the same item the same quality the same service and sometimes extra at a half a price so shop around before buying look out for discounts and take advantage of them and finally don't forget to invest i mean yeah it's time to have fun it's time to really enjoy ourselves but it's also the best time you can invest because um uh, there's this one um financial expert who said be greedy when others are greedy sorry be greedy when others are not greedy or are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy so this is the time when uh, a lot of people are going out large which is very okay but you can choose to do the opposite you can choose because this is the time many people are going to liquidate their investments they are going to withdraw if they were saving for a whole year now you can do the opposite now you decide to invest in this month now by following those i think there are four or five tips i can guarantee you your january or your next year would definitely be an amazing one let me know in the comment section what other tip or what other thing you're doing 
to make sure that you are enjoying your holiday season and you're still not going to go beyond your financial ability until then i encourage you to keep subscribing to our youtube channel by clicking the link below follow us on our facebook page and instagram and also on linkedin and twitter happy holidays and let's keep living financially healthy